Hello. In this session, we will see how to do the body implementation for the transition code XD01. This will be a source code enhancement because we want to validate certain data. So what validation we have to do? So if you go on to the XD01 transition code initial screen, this field name called telephone. It is stored in the KN1 table. Okay, so we have to check this field should not be blank. Telephone number should not be blank. Second, if it is not blank, then we have to check for duplicate number. Like if any customer already exits with the same telephone number, then give the error message. Okay, so this is our business requirement. So what are the steps involved in this to implement this body? The very first, we have to find a body, body name using the SC24. There are other options also present with SC84 or SC18. Okay, but here we will see how to find a body name with the help of SC24 class and the method is CL underscore exit handler. Okay, once we find out the suitable body, we have to check the definition in SC18 and then we have to do the implementation to SC18 or SC19. Okay, then we have to add our logic and do the testing. So we'll see one by one all. Now go back. Don't save the data. First, go to SC24. Enter the class name as CL underscore exit handler. Here, do click on get underscore instance put a breakpoint here here in this field that is exit underscore name will get on the body which get triggered okay now go to xd01 as soon as we press enter the debugger is started okay Double click on exit name so very first exit is the customer underscore add data okay we have to note note down all the body names press f8 this is second one press f8 f8 okay this is the initial screen again some body is called now let me enter some data here country region again some body triggered now here i'm not entering telephone number okay let me put some number save again we can see this body is called press effect effect Okay, the customer account 106 is created. Okay, so in this way, we have to note down all the body name first. Okay, now let me remove the debugger. Once we find out all the body name, then we have to check the body definition with the decode SE18. Here, enter our body name. We'll be using the first body that is customer underscore add data. Now, as the customer account 106 is created, go to SE16, enter KNA1, account is 106. Here, we can see that number is stored in this field that is telf1. Okay, this we have to validate back now check the body definition click on display here we can see the multiple uses tick this means we can create the multiple implementation for this body 
now click on interface so those, those are the method inside this body whenever we want to uh, do the validation there is a commonly used method check all data do click here so here we are getting s underscore k n one as i importing a structure okay which contain our telephone number field so this means that we can use this body now we'll go for the implementation part now on the same screen either we can do it to do se19 or on the same screen that is se18 go to create enter the name as yet customer underscore add underscore data will give as v6 okay give the description for telephone validation enter give the package name give the body implementation name cell body definition save in a package expand this click on implementing class so you can see all the methods are here now double click on check all data click yes now here we have to write our logic to check the important parameters of this method click on signature so you can see what are the importing parameters and what are the changing parameters okay for this method so here we have uh, we are getting s underscore k as the importing parameter now first we have to check that field should not be blank so if s underscore k n one that is telf one is not initial then do this else give the error message please enter telephone number and the message type will be error message okay this is the first one now if it is not initial then we have to check for duplicate so first declare one local work area that is gs underscore kna1 type kna1 declare one message gv underscore message type is string okay now check from database select single all from kna1 into corresponding fields of gs underscore kna1 where telf1 equal to that is the current telephone number okay now if gs underscore kna1 telf1 is not initial means a system has found some recall with the same number then give the error message what message concatenate customer which customer now give the name gs underscore kn1 name one already exits with the same number into gv underscore message separated by space 
now message gb underscore message type e so what we are doing basically here first we are passing this number to select query okay any system found any record in the customer master with the same number this will give the error message okay now activate this go back double click on the method will not be called just check in answer implementation must be still registered see if you are getting this message then we have to implement all the methods if you are not getting this error message then this will work okay now as you are getting this message we have to implement all the methods. Double click on implementing class. Here we have to activate all the methods. Activate. Go back. Go back again. This we already done. The fourth one, save data. We don't have to write any logic, but we have to activate them all. Check data change. If you required, you can also write your logic here based on your different uh, based on your requirement. Check phone number. Modify account number. Go back. Reset value. Go back. It, go back finally we have to implement the last method last interface method go back look at here check activate okay just go back and come again Go to display. I think we have created V6. Go to SC19. And this was a new body. We had given the name Z customer underscore. I think V6 we had given. Okay, so this is active body now. You can see the active status and here also the implementation will be called so what we have done we have added our logic only in the method check all data okay now go to xg01 press enter enter the country region no, I'm not entering any other data. I'm not entering telephone number first. Let me save. We can give the error message. We can see the error message. Please enter telephone number. Now, let me enter the same number which we have given earlier. 
that was the incorrect number also let me give the same number so so we can see the message here customer already exit the same number okay let me give some other number that is also existing one press enter the customer also for already exits okay now we'll get some different number okay so this number doesn't exist in the system now you can see the customer is created okay so in this way we can implement the body for the data validation so we have seen all the steps like first how to find out a suitable party how to check the definition and then how to do the implementation so in this way we have finished this topic like the body implementation for xg01 thank you